Well, hello everyone and happy Monday. My name is Emily and I'm here with corporate and I'm really excited to be with you today because we're still doing our road to SPD series, which to me is just such an amazing way for you to hear about the stories of those who've had the ultimate levels of success here in our business at LifeWave and have been able to achieve really amazing things, helping others to have incredible health and business opportunity and financial security. So really, these are the stories that I want you to be able to hear because regardless of what it is that you are trying to achieve with your LifeWave business, whatever it is that your dreams are, I think when we hear the success stories of others who have started from very similar places, it can absolutely help us to have the encouragement, the vision, and also some really tangible actions and insights to achieve those dreams. So today is another one of these Road to SPD stories, and I'm really excited because today we're going to be talking with Therese Santos. And Therese has been a massive success in her career, both in network marketing and as a traditional business owner. She's a self-made woman and a mother, and she has originally made her mark with Mary Kay as a top level earner and had multiple pink Cadillacs. I mean, almost up to 20 Cadillacs, it's amazing. But following her success with Mary Kay, she started and grew a multi-million dollar mentorship business. It's a very impressive thing, <laughs> you know, but Therese, she actually joined LifeWave originally for health reasons, she had this great business going. But in 2021, you know, she quickly grew to the ranks of senior presidential director after seeing that timing and the potential for LifeWave was so massive. So through her leadership, she continues to develop other leaders in LifeWave and is a member of our 2022 North American Field Advisory Council. So I'm really looking forward to our discussion today because I think you're going to be really, really encouraged by Teresa's story. So Teresa, uh, welcome. Welcome with us on the live today. Are you there? Well, good morning, Emily, and hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Happy Monday is right. Well, I'm really glad that we're chatting today, Therese. Thank you for being willing to come on here and to share your story with us. I know you have some very personal things um, that we may be talking about today that are related to your story. So I really appreciate your willingness to share and to just lean into and supporting others who have similar dreams. So thank you so much. Oh, I love this opportunity to share. So let's make this happen. Awesome. Well, you know, I'm going to just kind of dive right into questions because I know everyone's excited to hear how you've been able to achieve the success that you have here at LifeWave and other and other businesses as well. So, you know, just to get started, I know I, I did share a little bit about your background already, but if you could, in your own words, tell us a little bit about who is Therese, where you came from, just, just so everyone gets to know you a little bit better. All right. Well, that sounds like a once upon a time story, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so all I'd love to add to this is, and again, the whole concept here with this incredible series that Emily, um, Emily is bringing forward to everyone is to give you and everyone an opportunity to really connect, maybe even identify with something in each one of our stories. And for me, um, you know, I'm going to just speak to all the women, all the moms, all the single parents out there, even though I wasn't a single parent at the time, I'm going to let the mom in me lead with all this. And so, um, you know, who is Therese? Well, well, I um, I was a young mom. I grew up in the I grew up more in the rural area uh, near the shores of Lake Michigan, the Wisconsin side, on 20 acres of land. Wasn't a farm, but we were surrounded with farms. And I'm sharing this with you because people people see me today that you know my lifestyle today. But Emily, I was a tomboy. I was such a tomboy. I was playing in those open fields. I was driving snowmobiles and dirt bikes. I was breaking bones. I was playing baseball, 
broke my nose. I mean, there were so many aspects that were not very girly. <laughs> that uh, was my childhood. And, um, you know, and so I will always have a, you know, I will, oh, that girl still lives inside me, that girl that runs around, I'm either in bare feet or high heels, <laughs> you know, right. And I, I have a funny feeling you can identify a little bit with this as well. Okay. And, um, you know, I love, I love our company. I love this technology. I grow deeper in love with uh, this opportunity in our incredible, incredible company more and more, which is not true for most people at most jobs, right? They, you know, their disdain for it continues, you know, that usually is the way things go. But, you know, Emily, I was, um, I was a young mom. I had both my sons who are now in their, you know, mid thirties, uh, 35 and 37. I had, I had, I was a young mom and, um, and it was really, um, it was really when my youngest son, uh, excuse me, my oldest son, uh, Shane, uh, he was just a year old and, uh, we found that he needed open heart surgery. And, um, and so, I know we're going to talk a little bit more about my reasons why, but, you know, I just really want everyone to know that, you know, no matter where they're coming from, no matter where they are in their life, no matter how many birthdays, children, no children, grandchildren, none. But, you know, just to know that we're all, every single one of us SPDs that hit the top of the pay plan here and continue to, you know, you know, just want to inspire other people to do the same is that we are just like you. We, you know, we are just like you. Uh, I love that you shared that, Therese. I think that's one of my favorite things about this series that we're doing is it allows everyone to really get to know you and our other top level leaders. And to your exact point, you know, you guys are regular people too. Mm -hmm. And so anyone can achieve this with the right focus and with the right action, but it doesn't matter where you came from, what your circumstances are, who you are, you can still have that same success. And you know, I kind of want to lead into that next question because I'm yeah. I'm intrigued by I really am so intrigued by your story. So, you know, I know you started in direct sales and then progressed into network marketing. But what originally attracted you um, to even engage in this type of business? Yeah, well, it was really as I just shared. I just wanted to put that out there that it was because I was a mom that had uh, had these young boys that um, found myself in a situation where after my son had his open heart surgery, Emily, and, you know, he's 37. So clearly all that, you know, all went well, but we, you know, we're talking, you know, over 37 years ago, right? 37 years ago. And at that time, about a month after that surgery, the reality of the financial burden kicked in. I mean, whoa, uh, there were, you know, at least $50,000 in uninsured medical debts that were piling up and, you know, the, the threats about wage garnishment for my husband's paycheck at the time. And if anybody's heard the rumor that some financial stress can certainly add stress to your life and to your relationship. And uh, the truth is, I, um, you know, my children's father, good man, good father yet wasn't, um, and he's a former spouse, and I'm sharing that because um, I'm not a quick quitter in life, but uh, the bottom line is, is that one of us need to be, um, one of us needed to step up. One of us needed to be ambitious and find a way to create some income. And, uh, and it ended up being that that person was me. So I, um, I knew that I wanted to raise my own children. And it was important to me for them not to be in daycare. So that was my original why, is that I wanted to raise my own children. So um, I actually wasn't invited. My sister-in-law at the time was having a Mary Kay party on a Friday night. I wasn't invited. I went to visit her, not knowing that there was this party going on. And um, the reason I wasn't invited is she didn't think I would be interested. Mm. <laughs> Lesson around, you know, prejudging, right? Yeah. Well, I sat there kind of watching this thing go down. 
and babies. And I'm thinking she doesn't look like a beauty professional, you know? And I thought people are buying, you know, my family's buying from her. And I'm like, I literally recruited myself. I thought, I, in fact, I remember asking her, how much money did you just make? Remember, we are talking, you know, over 30 years ago. And she told me and I said, hmm, I could probably do that. Because remember, I was a person looking for, I had a need. And a lot of people, lesson here, won't tell you they have a need. They won't tell you. So it's important to be a really good listener. It's important to ask questions. It's important not to prejudge or to assume just because you think someone's got themselves together. And so I was a person who absolutely had a need for income. And I saw and I was realizing quite quickly that you could do this around your family. You could set your own, you know, hours, you know, so to speak, and kind of keep your priorities in order. And that's my original reason I said yes. It was a direct sales through Mary Kay. Little did I know, 28 laters in that company, it would create, you know, not a seven-figure income because, um, even after 50 plus years, um, you know, that's, you know, that's a company that's helped a lot of women create a lot of six figure incomes and some financial relaxation, which is a key word, everyone. A lot of people today need financial relaxation. We have a highly stressed world when it comes, you know, we don't want, you know, we know what's happening with the markets. We know what's happening with job security. We know that people are in search of something. They have a need and they might not tell you. So I'm sharing this. We're sharing this to let you know that the people that you love and care about, your neighbors, you know, your circle, your circle contacts, they may not tell you. That's why it's important to invite, sometimes not invite. But anyway, it was my need. And it was um, it was truly something that I grew into. Oh my gosh, Emily, I was the least likely person. Remember there, that tomboy in me? I also stuttered when I spoke. Oh. I had a nervous stutter. So the idea of doing anything that required any kind of speaking was like, mm. but here's what I learned is that when you have a need and you're willing to step outside that infamous comfort zone, that's where change is found. That's where growth is found. And so I grew in this industry. I grew personally. I grew financially. I grew confidently. And uh, so I hope that gives everybody an opportunity to just look inside themselves and realize that no one starts perfect. In fact, perfect isn't even anything I ever strive for because perfect isn't natural. No, I appreciate that perspective. You know, I, I think you're absolutely right. Sometimes we prejudge people right. or we don't ask the right questions to even know what someone's need is, but there's so much out there. In fact, you know, with the way that our economy has changed yes. in the last three year, few years, and as we've progressed through what we've been going through here as a worldwide yes. situation, you know, our, our gig economy is very strong. There's a lot of need, like you said. Right. But why is network marketing still one of those strongest opportunities versus other ways of earning income? And how is it different than, you know, a job or even having a traditional business like like you did with your mentorship business? Well, I actually think network marketing is the best opportunity today. It creates a level playing field where anybody can start from where they are and create a very different life story, financial story. I honestly think it's not just one of the best, it is the best because it allows you to keep priorities in order. It allows you to honestly have control of every area of your life, because really most people spend, you know, so many years working a job that they really don't love. And, and we know that, you know, one of the things that matters to, you know, 
if you if if anybody's heard me speak before, I think you know inner peace and time is you know the new money. So it's about understanding that network marketing and particularly LifeWave is the best opportunity there is because we are the company of the future. We are the healing company of the future. I can only imagine what this is going to look like by 2030, but keep in mind that does, if you know, that sounds far away, but in the big picture, it's not. So it is about getting started now. It is about understanding, you know, you get to keep your priorities in order in this business. God first, family second, then business, set goals, and literally create a lifestyle of freedom and financial relaxation where it if you build it and you understand the three phases of this industry you give yourself the greatest couple of gifts in life and that is personal fulfillment time freedom and a whole lot of happiness I love your perspective on that Charisse because I do. I am a big believer in our in our business, in our industry, but I'm totally with you. I think what we have here at LifeWave is very special. And I think it speaks so loudly that you had this hugely successful business yeah. and you shifted your focus and actually mm -hmm. gave up that business so, so that you could be full time focused all the way on LifeWave. And and based on what I know and, and your income, it definitely paid off. So talk to me a little bit about you know, someone who's just getting started, who's maybe not quite at that level of income that you are right now, what would advice, what advice would you give to them? Someone who's just getting started. All right, perfect. So um, you heard, in the beginning, I shared with you, so everybody would understand, yeah. I know what it's like to have both sides, understand both sides of money, to wonder where it's going to come from, to be stressed around that, to, you know, to living a lifestyle today because of this industry, because of this industry, because network marketing, and if you build it, and if you nurture it, and if you're not a quick quitter, it is the highest quality income there is. So I would say to anybody new that, yeah, have to commit. You have to commit to the three phases. In that first phase where you are learning and growing and you are you are willing to be mentored and coached. By the way, you know, that first phase. So what the phases really look like are, you know, literally be willing to commit to three to five years three to five years. It doesn't mean that people can't come in and their first 90 days, you know, literally radically change their financial story because that's been done. You know, it's like, how, how bad do you, know, how bad do you want it? What do you need? This is, an, this is beyond an equal, you know, playing field where somebody can come in with no experience, but with passion and completely change their story. But what I would say is understand the three phases of this industry, commit to five years, commit to a year. Most people are quick winners in life. And so, and understanding this little thing that it's in phase one where you're learning and growing and developing is where 90% of people quit. I'm like, they never see that financial relaxation, financial or prosperity because they don't understand it's in phase three where 90 percent of the wealth is created and to emily's point um i am someone that you know i did have a million dollar i left mary Kay over 12 years ago i started my own private mentorship business i grew that to a million dollar business when i found life wave i was someone that needed the patches i needed the patches and then because i continued to see what these patches were doing for others, what they were doing for myself. It was in January, 2021 that I made the decision. And it's a big decision to walk away and to let go of that million dollar mentorship practice. Why? So I could create some time, space, more energy to focus on, not to add more to my plate, because I'm not about that, but to create the time and space because I saw 
I believe with all my heart what this technology can do, continues to do, and will continue to do for others. So I wanted to just make my business, my professional focus, life wave. And after I made that decision, it, you know, it wasn't very long after that, because see, that's part of the success, everyone. And I'm speaking to you brand new people as well, or anybody that might find themselves in limbo. If you decide and you activate your decisions and you clarify what it is that you want and you're willing to go to school and learn and earn as you grow, I would say it's understanding that there is no higher quality income than the income you can make in LifeWave in this industry. And don't, don't for a minute, don't for a minute think that there is a better technology or a better company out there that you can align yourself because if there was I'd be doing that I'm at a place in my life where I can choose to do anything I want I can choose not to work and I choose to put my time and my energy into this incredible company and so it is about understanding the decision talking to your sponsor, your upline leader, asking for the support and the coaching that you want. Make that commitment that you're going to pursue until you achieve. Activate your goals and dreams. Make them important to you. Your goals and dreams want that they want to matter to you. They want to be important to you. And you can activate it with the energy of gratitude every day, thanking God, spirit, universe for what they are, you know, what, you know, what they are bringing you, what he is bringing you. So I know I said a lot. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful though, Therese. And, and I really appreciate what you're sharing there. You know, to your point, like you don't have to work anymore. You've been right. so successful and, and you're, you're still continuing to share with passion to help those in your team to achieve as well. And first, I would like to really just congratulate you on achieving a spot on our SPD yeah. summit this year to Costa Rica. Congratulations. Thank you. You continue to work hard. And I, and I really admire that in you. And I think that will be a continued key to your success in anything you choose. The, you're, you're constantly focused on helping others. But for those that are listening and have been inspired by what you've shared today, as I know many of them probably have been, I, I would just love if you could share with us, you know, for someone who's aiming to be on a spot on the SPD Summit this year, or maybe someone is working towards achieving a manager for the first time, whatever that is, what would you say to them what would you what would you leave them with a thought of well I love that and that is we have a real deadline here right for we've got this deadline this incredible company deadline where it's Sunday July 31st and um and that may not, that is not the official deadline for SPD. For those of you that are striving for SPD this year in order to join us in Costa Rica, that deadline is uh, August 21st. And uh, in order to actually, you know, meet the requirements. And so for those of you, and I know I've got, there's PDs out there. There's PDs out there that need to lean into this. Don't, don't count yourself out. If you want this and you already reach PD, that's evidence that you've got it inside you to just literally give it short-term hustle. So I, I don't believe in a life, a life of hustle, but I believe in short-term hustle. So no matter where somebody is, you could be a brand new distributor just getting started where that first rank is still manager for you. That's still, that is the most important rank to get to at that moment. So what I would say to everyone is literally have a goal by the 31st, whatever that is for you, just have a goal that would make you feel good about you because that's how we grow inside is goals help us grow. Goals help us grow. Have a goal, feel good with that goal. And if you get that goal reached a little early, then you ask yourself a bigger, better question. What else is possible? But my encouragement is don't sit here on the sidelines waiting and watching. Get into your own dreams. Set a goal and then use the rule of five to actually help you reach those goals. Five 
five income generating activities every day that will help you reach that goal. Oh, I love that, Therese. You know, I, I love goals too. And it's something that I absolutely believe in with my whole heart. And so I really appreciate that you shared that, you know, that goals are really what are going to help us grow. I hope everyone listening today to this live was able to hear something uh, that inspired them. I know I was inspired. And so whatever it is, whatever you heard from Trace today, write it down, post it somewhere. Like she said, have a goal, have, have a vision, um, get started because there's so much opportunity that's, that's right here for you. And anyone can be successful. Like Trace said, Trace, thank you so much for sharing your perspective, your story, and your insights. Really appreciate what you shared with us today. You're welcome. Cannot wait to see everyone. Um, in uh, in con at convention in Orlando this August, uh, oh my gosh! I heard rumors that it's going to be the biggest convention that this company has ever put out. Uh, I actually heard David say that if you were at the November November con convention, you know the November one, the last one, that was a mere warm up to what. <laughs> We're all going to re experience. So if you haven't registered for convention, I would make that a priority as well. And if you do it by this Friday, there's some bonuses and awards in it for you. So, all right. <laughs> No, you're absolutely right, Therese. You know, a convention is definitely a place yeah. that if you're serious about this business in any way, absolutely. you're serious about your dreams, you should be there, whether it's virtual or in person. And you're right, there definitely are some fun registration mm -hmm. contests that are going and things that people can take advantage of for registering before a deadline. So thanks for encouraging that, Therese. I agree. It's where everyone should be. And it will be the biggest convention we've ever had. So it'll be really exciting and worth everyone's time and effort effort to be there. So thank you again, Therese. I know we'll see you again here real soon and uh, have an amazing day. Thank you everyone for being here and tuning in. We appreciate you plugging in to our community and, and continuously showing up in ways that help you to grow, help you to help more people and really truly make our community stronger and more beautiful. You have an amazing day and we'll see you later in the week and next Monday as well. Bye-bye now.